Hi there. Today I want to offer you an inversion that you can do from home. Plow pose. If you've done mat yoga, you've probably done this in your practice as halasana. If you aren't familiar with this pose, please watch this video all the way through before you try it and reach out if you have any questions. It's very important that you do not turn your head when we're in this pose. The best way to learn is with an instructor in person, so I'll do my best to offer as detailed guidance and as many modifications as possible so that you're able to enjoy the benefits of being upside down even when we're on the ground. So we'll start with a short warm-up. Please, if you have tight hamstrings, do a little bit longer. Make sure that your body is nice and warm in order to get into this pose more easily. So let's start from tabletop position. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. As you inhale, drop your chest, lift your chin, arching the upper back. And then exhale, tuck your tailbone, look underneath you, really round your spine. Inhale, back to cow. And exhale, cat. Follow your breath, however fast or slow that you need to move today. Last breath cycle. And then coming to sit on the heels, join your hands behind you. Inhale, chest and chin lifting. Exhale, forehead to the floor. Hands go higher. No pressure on the elbows. Can keep the palms open. If you know that you're hypermobile, please keep the elbows soft. Last breath, bend your elbows, hands to the mat, and press yourself up, one vertebrae at a time. Fingertips reaching to the floor, your right ear finds right shoulder. Head up, other side. As you bring your head up, your hand finds opposite ear, and you can bring that left hand behind your back. Fingers can wrap around the waist, and then change your gaze. Look down at your hip. Should look like I'm smelling my armpit. Inhale, head up, other side. I'll turn to face you. So my finger reaching away, long neck. And then bending behind me, fingers wrapping. And then change the gaze. Not pulling or tugging. Just creating a little traction here. Good release. Shoulder rolls up, back, and down. And other way. We want to be gentle with the neck, so please don't do neck rolls like crazy fast. Consider just looking down and up, down and up, and then side to side. And then we'll do one circle, chin down, around, other direction. Great. Quick hamstrings, bending one leg, heel in front of hip, inhale, arms up, exhale, long spine. If you find yourself rounding or hunching, just walk your hands back. Exhale. Once your elbows bend, walk them towards your toes. Exhale. A little bit of movement for the foot. And then try walking your hands past the baby toe. Keep this hip grounded, feeling some stretch down the side body. Active foot. Exhale, maybe walking one more inch. Inhale, come back through center, and switching sides. I'll turn towards you, one foot forward. Inhale, and reach long. No tension in the neck and shoulders, we just loosen those up. As you exhale, maybe the hands walking forward. Take your time, walking past baby toe. Hip stays grounded to the floor, arms walking away from you. And 
coming back to center, inhaling up. Awesome. So again, if your hamstring's still feeling tight, please pause for a moment, do a little bit more warm up here as we take those legs over your head. If you can't fully straighten the legs, it's going to make it even more difficult. All right. Set up your mat by a wall. Make sure that you move your furniture out of the way. And let's try modification number one. We're gonna warm up first with bridge pose to start to engage more of the back body. So setting up with heels close to your booty and lying on the floor, arms by your side. Push the back of your head into the mat to keep your neck long. Inhale and exhale, lift those hips. Come down slowly, resisting gravity, inhale up. Exhale, lower. Let's go for six more. Lots of space between chin and chest. So you wanna think of your neck long like a swan, not short like a turtle. And remember, keep gazing up. One more. And coming down, rock yourself up. And now let's sit with hip against the wall. As you lie down, your feet coming up. This is a nice restorative pose as it sends the blood back towards your heart. It's very refreshing. If you get swollen ankles from too much sitting or too much walking, this is a really nice one to do before bedtime. But we're not resting today, so bend your knees. Arms pushing into the floor and start to lift yourself up. You might need to walk the feet higher. Feel the weight between your shoulder blades, not crunching your neck. Squeeze your bum, coming down. If you feel too much weight on the neck, you can come a little bit more away from the wall, adjust as you need. And here we go, one more time. Pushing hips high towards the sky. So you can see here's the inversion, my heart already coming over my head. And coming down. So this was modification number one. For modification number two, we're gonna add some props to take the pressure more off the neck. So I would recommend that you use folded blankets or try some chair cushions. Don't use regular pillows because those are lumpy, not even. But this chair cushion is nice and flat. For the blanket, you wanna make it smooth. I've already folded it once. And now twice. And then one more time. The smooth side I'm going to put away from me. And my shoulders are going to be one inch from the top of my cushion here. This way, my neck is going to be more of an incline rather than a sharp 90 degree angle as I bring my feet over my head. We're gonna use the wall again because we already set up the mat over here. My feet are gonna lift the other direction this time and end up on the wall. So as I lie down, checking the space at the top, I've gone too far, so walk my booty more away. Lying down again. Now I went too far the other way, so split the different little inchworm walk. Cool, all right. Arms by your side. You can start with the knees or the legs straight. Let's use our hands to help us lift up and over as we squeeze those heels to the sky and find the wall. Use your hands to support your hips and then maybe you can walk the feet lower. Again, keep looking up at the ceiling. We want the hips to be coming over the shoulders, back of the legs straight because my legs are working. Keep breathing, no compression in the neck. As we come down, try bringing your legs close to you. Aerialist, resist, and return to the floor. For our next option, we're gonna be facing the other way. So our feet are gonna land on a chair. This will give us the option to come all the way down to the floor if we feel ready. So let's lie down on our tower of blankets. Checking that your shoulders are one inch from the top. 
should be about one pinky finger. From here, make sure you can see your chair. And let's go. Legs coming up. Squeeze your bum. Energy is up towards the sky. If your chair is too low, you can put pillows on top. You can use your hands for support if that still feels better for you. If you feel ready, you can bring one foot and try to find the floor. And maybe this is already enough for today. If the hamstrings are screaming, you can bring your leg back higher. Again, where's my weight? It's between my shoulders, not compressing my neck, tailbone, reaching high to the sky. Can use my hands if it feels better for me, maybe on my back. When you're ready to come down, resist gravity. Use your abs. Control. So here is full plow pose, pushing into the floor. Use my abs. Keep sending tailbone up. Our final option uses the sofa. It's a crash mat, but pretend it's a sofa. This is gonna be a drill for ab strength. So it's not really plow pose, but the movement is similar. We're gonna put our hands under the sofa. If you're working on straight arm inversions, this is a wonderful drill for you. The weight of the sofa is gonna help me keep my body down as I use my abs to lift my legs up. And then I want to touch the sofa. Coming all the way down, squeeze your core. And lifting up. Try to keep pushing your toes further and further away from you. You feel that lightness? Let's cool down now with supported fish pose. You're gonna place the block between your shoulder blades, not touching your neck. So set it straight on your mat, long ways, holding onto it as you lie down so that it doesn't go wonky. And keep your hips grounded on the mat as you round your body over it, crown of the head touching the floor. If you have space, open your arms out wide to the side for a lovely chest expansion, breathing normally. Stay here for as long as you like. When you're ready to release, sit straight up so the block doesn't poke you in the ribs. Now interlace your fingers, make a fist, place it under your chin as you lift your face to the sky. We're making the opposite shape now as plow pose. Can roll your shoulders up, back and down. And turn your head side to side slowly. Great job.